we're gonna do a cavatelli, which is a pasta dumpling. And then we're going to do a nice butternut squash sauce. This has beautiful fall flavors. Again, we've got sweet and salty and earthy. The first thing we're gonna do is make our pasta because the pasta needs to set for about an hour. A cup of semolina, about a half a cup of durum. And semolina has a nice grit to it. It holds the shape of a noodle much, much better. So if you're doing something that needs, you know, to have a nice rigid shape, you want to use the semolina. So I've got a cup of slightly warmed water. I'm going to add an egg to it, beat it into the water there. We're going to start by adding about half of it. And then I'm going to slowly incorporate the walls of the well here. And you're gonna need this for about 10 minutes because you really want all the ingredients to combine. You want the gluten to start to activate. And you can push on it and you can see it's kind of bouncing back. That's when you know you're good. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up and then you're just gonna kind of tighten it all the way up. I do this, I make a little pouch and then throw that in the fridge and let it set. So we've let the dough set. And then we're gonna cut off a couple one inch strips there. Flour your board a little bit. And you're gonna roll them out into about quarter inch thickness. I really like this noodle and the kind of the reason that I chose it for Thanksgiving and the holidays is because I always enjoy cooking with my family, my nieces and nephews, my mom. And so this is something that kids would love to do. A great project for the day, kind of like doing cookies. So same sort of thing, instead of cookies, we're gonna do cavatelli. And we're just gonna cut off a little piece there. I'm gonna flour my board. You're putting your thumb on top. You're pushing forward and it's gonna roll back over on itself. This is gonna be so beautiful that you're gonna take a picture of it. Get your gnocchi board in there. Let me show you how to set this up. Little flower off to the side. And you're gonna go ahead and tag me in it so I can see your work. So now we're going to take some butternut squash. We're gonna roast it off to about two cups. Depending on how much you're making, a little olive oil, we're gonna throw it in the oven, let that roast off. Set these off to the side while our squash is cooking. Give them some room to breathe. Let them dry out a little bit. So we've got our roasted butternut squash here. We're gonna get everything ready to head over to the stove. Some pancetta, about a half a cup there. Cold pan, turn the heat on medium high. So whenever you can use bacon fat as part of your sauce, it's a good day, right? And we're gonna throw in a little bit of butter, a little bit of chili flake, some shallots. We're gonna add our squash. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. I'm gonna drop my pasta. And then we're gonna add some fresh sage. And you can just tear this off. Oh my God, it smells so good. So we can pull the noodles out. And then we're just gonna toss this all together. And then we've got this beautiful fall dish. We're gonna spoon it on here. We've got a nice big bowl of cavatelli with squash. Garnish it with a little pecorino and just a little drizzle of balsamic. Great for the fall, great for the holidays. Um, it's gonna be perfect coming up, so start practicing.